I lost interest in doing photography, which was my main profession based here at Craganhorse Country Park. I lost interest in photography and I dis uh, just at the start of COVID, I discovered the joys of weaving. So I bought a weaving loom, started uh, doing weaving. Uh, but I found it actually very time consuming to get anywhere with it to produce a product. But, and so I decided to move uh, to spinning wheels. So I bought my partner a spinning wheel. She always wanted a, a vintage spinning wheel, I bought her one. And I, um, that really got me interested. So I went out and bought another one or two or 10 or 20. I've now got 70. Okay, the room we're in now probably has about four or five, which I'm refurbishing, or I may have finished, so I use them just to make the place look nice. I've got about 56, I think it is, um, in my house. Yeah. The room's full of spinning, the house is full of spinning walls. No, not big house, two up, two down, um, three bedroom, two bedroom house, uh, but they're all mostly on the ground floor or in one of the bedrooms upstairs, yeah. Mad. There wouldn't have been the room, seriously, literally, there would not have been the room to have done this, this space, three square metres in my house right now, in one place. At the moment, I'm a collector, they're my babies. Uh, I have sold 10, but the mostly spinning wheels, I really have no interest in owning. Uh, they're not really up to spinning, they're a bit rickety or whatever, so I've sold those. Um, I also uh, sold one spinning wheel, um, which I saw on eBay for quite a lot of money. I think I paid a couple of hundred pounds for it and it had never, literally never been used. It was still flat packed in a box and it was during uh, post COVID and post Brexit where the manufacturer in New Zealand decided not to bother sending their products into the UK anymore because of Brexit rules. So they would held them. So of course the, the value of this particular brand went through the roof. And I saw one on eBay, unused, and I thought, if I buy that for a couple of hundred pounds, I'll sell it in the same week for probably double, and I did. So that was the biggest profit. I knew if I bought it for, I think, no, actually, I think I paid 250 for it, and um, I think I sold it for 399 on Facebook or something, literally 24 hours later. Yeah. Nigel, you asked me which is the oldest spinning wheel I've got. Uh, that's probably 250 years old, Swiss. I don't have it here. It's not been here for a good year or so. Um, for me, perhaps more interesting is this older wheel, which um, <coughs> it's probably not as old as the Swiss one. It's probably 150, it could be 200 years old. This one here, uh, no nails. You can usually tell, date the age of something. Sorry, now you can see it. Uh, this is called an accelerated spinning wheel because it has uh, two main drive wheels and one wheel drives, the big one drives the small one and the small drive wheel drives the engine if you like. So it's very rare, I mean my goodness, uh, one in every 10, 20,000 wheels are accelerator wheels, so it's very, very rare indeed, so that's interesting. Yeah, these are, these, these are from that machine. Uh, the big one, uh, the foot treadle, you drive it by foot, rotates this one which is attached to this one, which gets rotated, and this little one drives the, the main gubbings. And by gearing it, gearing it up, uh, by gearing it up, uh, you've got a very fast, very fast sports spinning wheel, if you like. Um, not suitable to me, for me, really, because I'm a slow spinner anyway, you know, but um, yeah, it's quite amazing, and it's very rare, very rare, yeah. So it's quite, and it's built like a tank. I mean, I'm not going to, you could probably drop that on the floor, it wouldn't do any harm. There's the weights there, look, lead weights. Uh, it should end up with those at the bottom. Um, and the reason for that is, if you look carefully with the weight, when it comes to rest, with the weights at the bottom, this crank here is poised at about 11 o'clock on the clock, so to speak. And that makes it easier to kick off and start rotating it again. And also, uh, because it's got leaded weights, it's got more torque, it's got more energy, so it, it, it spins with less effort. Yeah, it's good. Obsession with spinning wheels. Oh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> uh, 